entreaties of the sweet land of liberty of the icy from every mountainside let freedom ring that song my country tis of thee uses the words liberty and freedom in a fairly synonymous manner for most people the terms liberty and freedom mean the same thing when one looks into the origin of these terms and studies their usage throughout the millennia, however, striking differences can be found. Dr. Kerry Roberts, in a video lecture from week one of this course, remarks on that distinction. Quote, freedom emerged in northern European Germanic lands. It is of Germanic origin etymologically. It derives from the same word you and I get our word neighbor. Whereas liberty is Mediterranean, it is from the Roman world, it is derived from the Latin term libertas, and it involves a set definition of rights and corresponding duties." Unquote. When one takes a look at the works of Marcus Tullius Cicero, the great political thinker of the Roman Republic, the meaning of libertas and, as rights and duties becomes clear. He says, quote, unless there is in the state an even balance of rights, duties, and functions, so that the magistrates have enough power, the consuls of the intimate citizens enough influence, and the people enough liberty, this kind of government cannot be safe from revolution." Unquote. Valentina Arena sums up Cicero's thinking like this, quote, The notion of liberty meant the absence of arbitrary domination to achieve one's own ends and resided in the supremacy of the rule of law, unquote. As Dr. Robert said, libertas is a set of rights and duties. Well, how does the meaning of the word freedom differ? Well, freedom has a more personal connotation, which makes sense given that the origin of the word is linked to friendship, affection, and neighborliness. The Great Charter, Magna Carta, is a prime example of this way of thinking about freedom. The Anglo-Saxons had recognized the law of the land for centuries, and in 1215, the Norman aristocrats who had invaded a few centuries earlier as well as the common Englishman, had finally had enough of King John's tyranny, and he was forced to sign Magna Carta, which, quote, enshrined the traditional freedoms of free-born English people, unquote, as the Hampton Trust puts it. Notice how this British organization uses the word freedoms and freeborn in keeping with the roots of the word. Magna Carta did indeed enshrine those freedoms. Although, since it was written in Latin, the term libertas is used in the document, the contents of the Great Charter nevertheless reflects the personal and subjective nature of the way the English people viewed their freedoms. From the very general human rights in Magna Carta, such as the right to a trial by a jury of one's peers and no taxation without common consent, to more specific ideas of fairness, like a standardization of weights and measures, and a widow's right to remain unmarried if she so chooses. Magna Carta is not filled with esoteric theory, but practical expressions of personal freedoms. Hannah Patinkin, in the journal Political Theory, does a great job summing up the distinction between these two words. She writes, quote, First, freedom is more likely to be holistic to mean a total condition or state of being, while liberty is more likely to be plural and piecemeal. Second, freedom is more likely than liberty to be something psychic, inner, and integral to the self. This might tempt one to conclude that liberty is more external and objective, freedom more psychological and subjective." Unquote. What both these concepts have in common, however, is the primacy of the rule of law, not the arbitrary whims of a ruler. An interesting note, the melody of My Country Tis of Thee was taken from the traditional anthem of the United Kingdom, God Save the Queen, which in the third verse has the line, May she defend our laws and ever give us cause to sing with heart and voice, God Save the Queen. Truly, may God save all of us from the tyranny of both the many and the one, and may he preserve the rule of law 
and the freedom and liberty which we enjoy, and may it spread among all the nations of the world.